Hey, welcome back everybody. Hope everybody had a wonderful, fabulous Christmas and a safe one as well. Larry here and welcome back to my channel. Today, for the first time that I know of, I'm doing a pen uh, that I've yet to see, been reviewed or see it yet on the YouTube channel. But I could have overlooked it, but anyway... I've had uh, some of these great pins I'm fixing to show you. Uh, I got off eBay and they come from China. Uh, and you know, what I like about the Chinese pins, their colors are so real and vibrant. They just pop. They do a nice job and so affordable. Like, let me show you these pins down here. Beautiful color pins. Look at this beautiful blue pin with the uh, kind of, has some white, uh, not necessarily swirls, but like... Kind of see, a marble finish. Yeah, that would be a, a good way to describe it. Beautiful pen. I really like it. And the same goes with this green one. It looks almost like a forest green uh, color, or even reminds me of a Noodler's green ink as well with a marble finish and last but not least here is this red one to me it looks maroon how about you mr announcer yeah i'll call it maroon yeah with some pink uh swirls in it throughout the pen so th that's really cool that's what i like about it what i did order was a pink one and they sent me this one so I'm still waiting for my pink one to get here. Hopefully in the next two weeks, it'll make it. Th these pins are, are different. Uh, and I'm going to show you why in a minute. First of all, the name of these pins, they go by the SKB F19 Plastic China Fountain Pins. Sounds like they're kind of running out of names. Well, it's, it's a different name. And I did tried to get uh, the answer to uh, understand and help me find out what the SKB stand for and I was told it's uh, just how they describe their fountain pens. Okay. Uh, now, they're just a plastic material uh, and the weight they're 13.3 G's. They only cost $2.98 with free shipping. So, you know, if you're a pen enthusiast, a pen freak, pen geek, you're a newbie into fountain pens, it doesn't matter because they're a fun pen. You know, it doesn't matter. These pens, if you lose it, break it, whatever, $2.98 won't break the bank. I hope. A great fun pen. Like I said, they have amazing, cool colors. And that's what attracted me to these pens. You know, I've seen these pens a while back, but I didn't yet bite the bullet because I just wasn't for sure. Yeah, two ninety eight is two ninety eight, but still, was it really worth it for the weight? Well, so far I'm pleased with them. I haven't done anything with them yet. So, uh the blue one has a fine nib. The green one has a fine nib. And the red one has an extra fine nib. That's a bit unusual for you, isn't it? Yes, yes. I I don't go for extra fine nibs unless they're really a wet nib. I, you know, I, I'm into wet, juicy nibs. I, I just can't, for me, get the feel of a pen when it's dry. I, I just always been that way, I guess. That's just me. You know, we all are different. Uh, and I don't like scratchy nibs. Like that. Oh, it just drives me nuts. But a friend of mine, Kara Overman, she loves extra fine nibs. And another friend of mine, uh, Miss T of uh, Still Wagon, she likes extra fine Nip. So there's people out there that do like them. There's nothing wrong with them, you know, but it, just me, everybody has their likes and dislikes, and I just just don't feel it. But they're here, 
and I didn't order an extra fine nib. I order fine nibs, but again, mix up. But here we go. So, Mr. Announcer, which one should I ink up? Uh, well, I like the blue one, definitely. Yeah, let's go with the blue one, and that is a fine nib. So, the uh, length of this pen cap is 5.31 inches. It's an unscrewed cap, and it does post securely. And when you post it, it's about 6.9 inches. A light pen. And we're going to get to this end part in a minute. This is what's interesting to me, anyway. There's nothing in the inside of the cap like liners to keep the pen from drying out that I can see. Um, the clip is a nice, sturdy clip. Within the very top of this cap is a black dome-shaped finial. Almost looks like the end of a cigar to me. Or even like a bullet, you know. Uh, the only band you're going to see is the band right here on the bottom of the cap. And, you know, the, the hardware looks good on this blue, I think. The blue is really dynamite. Really just catches my eye. It kind of reminds me of the base state blue which we're going to use. Oh, boy. Love Bay State Blue for me. It just sings, use me, use me. God, Mr. Announcer, look at this. It's down to here already. This is about like my third bottle. I bought one, I bought three. Uh, I believe it was two last year. I gave some samples out. So that emptied one bottle. Then I emptied a bottle writing, and I'm just about done with this bottle writing. So... I guess I need to get a hold of the pin thing store from Brian pretty soon and order some. So, okay, back to this cool pin. Screw on cap, like I said. Uh, the widest point or the widest part of the cap is going to be 0 0.56 inches. And the widest point of the barrel is going to be 50, 0 0.56, I'm sorry, 0 0.57 inches. So, the grip, of this pin, it starts up here, 0 0.37 inches, and then the further down you go, goes down to 0. 35 inches. It's not a big nib, but it's not um, it's not a big grip, but it's not a small one either. For my fingers, it works well. Why don't you try holding them, Mr. Announcer? You have big chunky fingers. Pretty well. I think I'd prefer it cat, um, posted. Posted. Okay, because it's now try that posted. See what you think. Yes, that, that's balanced better for me. Yeah, uh, some may think it looks a little strange or odd, but, uh, you know, I do like it posted. You know, I do like that cap, the way the cap looks. It, it, it's all just fits in and works well together. Um, it's got a regular plastic feed, and the grip in the feed is see-through. Steel nib, rhodium nib with a F for the fine, and it does have some design on the nib and it looks kind of cool. Uh, it does come with a converter. That's cool. And it's a push on and it stays securely and pull off. So let me show you a very interesting part about this fountain pen. And I have yet to figure it out, and I really can't get an answer from the seller. Uh, but as you see on the other pins, they come with a uh, 
little silver band there. Well, this one doesn't have it. Well, that's okay. So, I'm thinking, okay, so what is this for? So, I took off the the end, the end cap, thinking it's going to be a plunger type. Well, there you can see part of the converter. So, I unscrewed it. And you can see right through it. I'm going to show you. I'm going to put a light on here. Can you see that, Mr. Announcer? Yes. Yes. So you can see right through it. So, and if you put the light on it, it's almost transparent. You can see that. That's kind of cool. So I have no idea what's the reason for this. Some of you may already be thinking and asking, can this be made into an eyedropper? Well, even with or without the ring, I would get an O-ring to put around there. Don't forget to use silicone uh, grease and put it around there. Uh, and put it around there to make sure it is sealed properly and you don't have any leaks. But I don't guarantee it because this is unusual for me to see. Uh, it's interesting. It does have my attention. So, um, they come in extra fine and fine only. That's it. And they come in these colors, plus they have a pink one that hopefully I'll get. That's the only four colors that I saw from the seller. Um... So let's go ahead and ink this pen up and see how it writes. Uh, I am just as interested as you are to see how well this pen will write. So here we go. Ta -da, ta -da, ta -da. Here we go. Ta -da, ta -da, ta -da. What I'm going to do, let me get one of my, you know, am I ready? I always think I'm ready, and then I always forget to put something. Isn't that the case? Can be, yes. Like I put away one of my carry bags, right? And now I can't find it. And I've been looking for it. These little pipettes come in really handy. And they're real affordable. So, I think every pen user should have a, a few around because you never know when you need these things. All right, here we go. Let's fill her up. Filling up, not a problem. The only problem I had was in the bottle because it was too far down and that's not long enough. So, that's why these little jewels come in handy. And while we're at it, you can always use a syringe to fill up your converter as well. So, let me set that little jewel there. Yes, I get pretty inked up, don't I? Well, not the first time, is it, Mr. Announcer? Nope. God knows it won't be the last because this is what I do, folks. I'm a true, nerdy, geeky, pin freak, and I love it. All right, I am inked up, and I'm ready for action. So let's see how this good-looking pin writes because what happens it's under the hood, speaking of the nib. The, and I'm using, uh, 
because I forgot the name of this pad. It's the SN2 pad, the perfect paper for both smooth nibs and sharp nibs. Dot ruling, uh, and it has faint dots, and they're uh, spaced every 0.2 inches, 5 by 8. And this has really been a good pad, good paper. When I watched me say that, it turns out to be bleh. Fine nib writes really nice. F nineteen. And this has a fine nip. Do a few little S's here. And we'll do a little of this to check for wetness. Nice wet nib. Now this nib I like. And I'm using the noodlers. Page state blue. One of my favorite blues of all. For real. This I love base state blue. I've done reviews on base state blue. I don't use base state blue in any of my bag uh, fillers. I, I try to keep it just in my uh, ink converters. Uh, they're easier to clean out. So do some writing. And it did well. Upside down. And we'll do some S's. Check for wetness. Upside down writes pretty darn good. For $2.98, this is going to be jamming. Now, I look at that, and it, to me, that upside down looks more like a fine point than the writing above it. Yeah, the upside down looks more like an extra fine than fine. This, to me, gets an extra fine. Correct. I, I, well, I'm just to me the like the lines you have above that look rather yeah thicker than what I would think a fine right. would do. And this is a fine medium to me. Uh, some line variation, no pressure, with pressure, and really not getting nothing. So they, uh, your Chinese nibs are a little bit different, but uh, to me, yeah, a fine medium. On this, I guess that's why I like it. <laughs> and there you have it. The SKB F19 Plastic China Fountain Pen. You can find this pen on eBay. The wait time, I think I had to wait, I don't know, four or five weeks, maybe, somewhere in that vicinity. Well, I hope this review was helpful, enjoyable, and interesting. I know for me it was because of the end cap. Why on earth do they have an end cap like this? And like I said, eyedropper... I really don't know, but if I was you, I'd be real careful and follow the instructions on how to eyedrop a fountain pen, then hope for the best. 
Well, my friends, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet and you just stumbled over my channel, then hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the little bell so it can notify you when I put up a, another video. Share the video with all your friends. And hit that like button. Let me know that you found this review interesting in some form or fashion. Can you dig it? I knew that you could. So, thank you for joining me on Larry's Fountain Pens. And I'm the Pen Bug Guy. And peace. And remember, don't text and drive. I wanted to go. Well, here's what I wanted to show you before I go. My minion. One more time. Don't you just love him?